Right, so something really interesting has occurred within Fortnite. And before we continue, there's actually a way to trigger this. For those of you that have been watching the videos since forever or just started joining the channel, you know that we covered a video talking about the uh, TV signals that were being broadcasted in Fortnite around the entire map. In every single TV, there was a broadcast that said, uh, or not that said, it actually showed the evil layer. It was kind of like a symbol or, or the front of the building of, of the evil layer. And people thought it was a symbol. I thought it was a symbol, but it wasn't. It was actually the front of that particular building. After spotting the signals and the TVs around the map, one would come into the evil layer and one would see, and it's still here, but one would see this, okay? The hologram of basically the missile ready to be launched. And it was an update that nobody knew was coming. They didn't announce it. It was just implemented into the game. So today something pretty interesting happened and really quickly before we get into that, I just want to let you know that I know everybody was expecting the missile to be launched this week and um to be honest i i really do feel like there was an error on epic's part i feel like i truly truly feel that it was not meant to be shown so therefore they either delayed it or just paused it for the meantime because it was for a later date i, I really do feel like it's going to happen i mean if it wasn't gonna happen we wouldn't have the loading screen with the the visitor the blockbuster skin launching it in the loading screen basically means that it's going to happen it's pretty much confirmed it's not there for a reason we are getting the broadcast signals for a reason it's gonna happen and you as the player will be able to launch the missile in order for us to proceed here and for you to understand what's going on i gotta read you this quick little portion here that fortnite insider brought some light into this and it basically says the following with season four coming to an end and the blockbuster challenge is finished the community are looking for any signs to hint what's in store for season five the visitor has escaped from dusty divot and loaded screen eight shown in the visitors launching the rocket missile at the lair located by snobby shores the tv screens have also been broadcasting a message similar to the llamas seen on the tvs across fortnite and it seems to be making reference to the layer. The Nintendo Switch also showed a countdown for three days, but when the countdown finished, it just showed a black screen. The same countdown has now been seen on other platforms, PS4 and Xbox, but we will have to wait and see if there will be any changes at the end of this. So there's a Reddit user by the name of EZT3, who was playing around with the date and time and just happened to change the TV to show launch. After checking ourselves, we can confirm that this is real, and you can check this for yourselves by changing the date to 36 2018 which is the 30th of june 2018 on pc and 30th of july 2018 on console you will see launch flashing on the tv screens as seen below so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into a lobby we're going to find a tv that broadcasts the signal we're going to check out the signal then we're going to go back into the options and experiment and see that this works for real i want you to know that this is obviously another clue that hints that this is going to be an update that's going to come into Fortnite Battle Royale. That happens. A lot of people used to do that with Call of Duty. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. People change the date on their console so they can see future updates. A lot of the times it doesn't work, but very little times it does work. This is what we're going to do. We are going to go straight down here. We're literally going to go to the same exact TV that we went the first time we saw this TV signal being broadcasted, which is literally right after this hill right here. If everything is normal, we should see the original, okay, the original TV broadcast, which was the one that was broadcasting the evil layer. So here we go. By the way, I love myself my glider. It is very badass glider. Here we go. Nobody's going to land here. All right. There it is. Okay, so this is the original. This is what's supposed to be here. I get these stink bombs. Just destroy myself. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Alright. Now, as per this article, if you change it to June 30th, okay, on PC it'll show. But if you're on console, you have to put July 30th, which I think it's a mistake because there's no way that this will correlate into the July 30th. I mean, we're not even done with this month. We still have like 10 days left, and season four literally has two weeks left, about 14, 15 days left. So I think July 30th will be a mistake. I think it's going to happen officially next Tuesday or the following week. It, it just cannot go beyond that. The only thing that I have an issue with that I don't know how it's going to work is, for instance, when the meteor was going to hit uh, Tilted or Dusty Divot, we thought that we were going to be able to see that in game. We were able to see minor meteor showers or whatnot, but not the actual big meteor hit it. And you see, now the more that I think about it, now it makes sense as to why you could not see the meteor 
as you're playing because then some people will have the updated map and some people wouldn't so therefore what they did was they made it into like a little intro when you logged in right as season four went live so now this kind of contradicts how this is going to work for season five if we're actually going to be launching the missile if that particular missile is going to affect something in the map is this particular event going to change the map for only the people that have launched the missile or are they going to have a, another little like intro movie clip kind of like how they did for season five that's one thing that i'm so concerned about that i still don't know how they're going to go around it but of course we should find out i'm going to go into my settings now date and time set manually july 30th i've completely closed my app restarted the entire thing i'm restarting the game and i'm going to go into a lobby and see if if we can actually see the updated screen i'm officially in a new lobby the game's been reset as you guys saw and uh I i'm really praying this works <laughs> I'm gonna feel so stupid if it doesn't work. All right, let's see. We're gonna go to the same location. We're actually en route to land right about here. This is the little house. All right, please work. I, I really don't want to come to realization that this does not work. I mean, it does work. It, it, if it, if this doesn't work, I will put a video of the YouTube video that was by Fortnite Insider. So you guys can see it works here goes nothing boys wish me luck as i am praying to god toes crossed fingers crossed today <laughs> that it's been updated let's see this is gonna be quite interesting here we go we land in the same place don't mind me it's just me and my pet dinosaur floating around the city like what up okay i'm gonna land here to land quicker please please i'm, I'm kind of nervous right now It works. Dude. Is it, this is like a freaking secret message or some shit. I'm going to go to this other TV here and see if this other TV also displays this. Because although I knew it was going to work because I, I read the article and I seen it. A little bit, a little part of me was a little bit in disbelief. It's like. Of course, they don't want you to see this. This is something that's in the game files. It's probably not even meant to be in the game files. And, and it's just here. As you guys can see, it says launch. It's not Photoshop. It's legit. There's somebody over there. I need him to leave. All right. He is so mad right now. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Once this happens, once you have this activated in your account, something else happens in the evil lair. But I'm going to go and double check again. I'm going to triple check. I'm just going to check any house and make sure that the launch uh, signal is still there because we are in a different lobby. So here we go. I'm going to see. I'm praying to God that this, this one has it here. This is just a random location here. Don't even know if it's going to have a TV, to be honest. Yep, there it is. There it is, boys. It's there. It's, it's just literally there. So I'm going to work into the evil layer now. Once you set the time and date for your console, remember it's going to be July 30th and PC is going to be June 30th. I really have no idea why console is on July, literally an entire month ahead, which makes absolute no sense. I think it's an error for sure. It has to be. After you do that, the hologram and the evil layer should have disappeared. Yeah, look, there's not even a hologram here anymore. The hologram has completely disappeared. Like I said it would. There's no more hologram in here. Let me blow this up. Again, I know it makes kind of like no sense. But it all boils down to the fact that this is most likely an error. Like, it's not supposed to happen this way most likely like almost 100 percent sure what are your thoughts and opinions about this thing being changed i would sit here and play a game but i, I really thought i just wanted to focus this video on this particular thing going on 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 fortnite i don't know what the hell it means ultimately but the fact that it is in the game just by you changing the dates on console and on pc it just goes to tell you that it's here. It's in the files. It's going to happen. I apologize that I said it was going to happen this week, but everything was leading to it happening this week. 
and I, I, if you really think about it, it only makes sense to happen now that week eight is officially here. And once you complete the week eight, you officially get the official week eight loading screen, which is the blockbuster skin launching the missile as opposed to last week where it was just leaked. So with that said, I, I truly do believe it makes more sense that it should happen moving forward. I don't know if it's on the switch. The switch is considered a console. So I would assume it also is on the switch. If you guys have a switch and you want to change your date, let me know if it works there as well. And just overall, let me know what you think about this. Do you find this interesting or do you just don't give a shit? <laughs> Regardless, I love speculating and I love speculations like this and, and little hints and secret shit that they hide. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Today, we might get a new skin and I got you guys covered. So with that said, catch you on the next one. Ooh.